and go on a road trip. Mm -hmm. Road trip and get some weird Money. Wee break. Uh, have another wee, wee break. Probably sound like a fart then, to be fair. <laughs> so you, you want to fly? It's all good. I came to the agreement with myself that we're putting the spaces on. Well guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, my name's Luke and this is LBTV and today lads we're picking up some new wheels for the Audi A5. I've been waiting a while to find the correct set of these exact wheels. There's only been actually a certain set of wheels I've wanted to buy since I've started owning the car. It's like nothing crazy, nothing special, nothing mad but it just suits these cars down to an absolute T. I love it. Um, when it's loaded a little bit, it's gonna look absolutely spot on. So we've got to make a trip up to Southampton today. Um, we're taking Shan with me, so hopefully she's gonna be a decent cameraman on the way, lads. Obviously the car's gonna get lowered, etc. But one thing I did notice, guys, is that I've not seen on any other Audi A5s, is that this bit, um, two seconds, this bit right here. So let me zoom in. So where it says like comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual, I've never actually seen another Audi A5 like this sort of model in the B8, or even the B8.5, I don't think, that's got this on there. So is this like mag ride or something to do with suspension? I'm pretty certain it is, but I'm not too sure. So if you can let me know in the comments down below, guys, honestly, we'd really, really appreciate that. But for now, let's go get Shan and hit the road because we've got some snacks and we're ready to rock. So see you guys in just a sec. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm going on a road trip. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to get some weird. Money. Oh, you got the money? Yeah. Got the money. Sick. All right, guys, so we're going to shoot off now. I'm going to let, oh, I might let Shan have the camera. We'll see how she, how she is with the camera on the way up. You smell nice. Thank you. You just literally bath yourself in no. ah, perfume. No. You're not. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's get on and get to Southampton. So we 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 break. Uh, everyone has a wee wee break. We sound like a fart, then to be fair. <laughs> you, you want a Starbucks? Yeah. Oh, to be fair, I get Starbucks. Oh, there's a mask here. Go on. Got one of these. They, they look weird. They look weird. You look like you're about to go operate on someone. I've been wearing these for six months, so I'm sure I can <laughs> deal with it once. Oh right, yeah, we'll go for a wee, grab a Costa, and uh, say my last goodbyes to the car. I think I hit a pothole again. So I'm a bit worried about this wheel. No, it was the back wheel. No, it wasn't. It was this front one. It was the back one. No, well, it doesn't seem to be going down. Anyway, let's go for, let's go for a whiff. Tell you what, lads. One thing when you go to Starbucks, you've got to pick up these caramel waffles. They're amazing. Literally. Oh, Shan's got a <laughs> shake. She's buzzing. I'll give you guys one hint that basically the wheels are 19 inch. Are you buzzing? Yeah. That looks well banging. you got a little toasty as well? Yeah. Oh, that's naughty, that. <laughs> No, don't leave it at that. That is bad news. Do not leave it at that. Just hold it. You can hold it. So we're about because there's so much traffic. Show, show that there's, there's literally so much traffic. We've been stuck in it for probably about half an hour, forty minutes, haven't we? Mm. It's no matter minute, lad. So this journey feels like it's dragged for ages. It's meant to be like a three-hour journey. It's taken so long. But you've got to go up the east coast, so from where we are anyway, and it's a, it's a nightmare, it's a shit road really. Right boys, so we've got the wheels, I didn't want to film because um, the gentleman's dad was there, so it's, it's a bit awkward filming around his dad and stuff, but he's a really nice, polite guy, helped me out with getting the wheels in, um, gave me extra spare wheel nuts as well, sorted me out a really good price on them, and I cannot be any happier, honestly really happy with that, so shout out to the guy who sold me these wheels, he does watch the videos and that, so he'll know, he's, if he's watching he knows, but... I'm really out of breath for some reason, it's like I was just rolling those wheels <laughs> off a drive and I'm literally shattered. But um, the wheels are on the back, you can't see them at the minute. I'll show you guys tomorrow guys because they look absolutely amazing. There's one of them that's got one tiny little mark on and that's all, it, and that's all it's got. But yeah guys, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to head home now and then I'll catch you all tomorrow. We'll get them fitted and see how good they look. So, see you in the morning. Crikey, right lads, you're probably wondering to do why you're selling shorts and it's coming up to winter. Like literally it's just a I don't know why, but I get so into a routine of wearing the summer clothing. I just stick to it. Anyway, that like, I'm gonna off the subject already. Right, so we're back from Southampton now. Shout out to the guys some of these wheels, absolute legend. If you can hear some screaming in the background there is a bunch of gypsies running a fun fairground behind us, so yeah, that's going off. And um, yeah, so apart from that, the wheels. Now these wheels are literally ones I've been searching for for a long time, especially a decent condition set. Um, I wanted to get the Audi, I want the Audi to come with these already on because 
believe it or not, they already wheels, so that kind of gives it away. But um, yeah, they, they, the set of wheels I've really liked for a very, very long time, and I didn't want to get anything else because personally, I like doing mods subtle, and I like to make the car look smart, etc. Still, so I'm going to be doing that with these wheels, dropping it a little bit lower, putting some splitter kits on, etc. Not going too mad. Obviously the exhaust is going to be mental because I can't wait to hear that. Like, who doesn't want a poor man's GCR these days? This is definitely one of them. But um, lads, anyway, enough of that. Let's, be, let's get on, show you guys these wheels, and then we get on. Sit back, enjoy, rock cinematics. Here we go, boys. Yes lads, so a set of Audi rotor wheels. What do you reckon? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love these. I think they've got an offset of about 20. No, 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 it's in the 30. That's wrong. That's wrong, two sets, I've checked. So the offset on this guys is actually ET33. So for those of you who don't know how offset works, I think this is how it works, if I remember correctly from when I used to work at ATS. So the lower the offset, means that basically the, the center of the hub on the wheel, so this part of the wheel here, is pushed further in and then the spokes are sticking out more. So the lower the number, the more it goes inwards, and then the higher the number, the more this uh, central part of the hub on the wheel comes out with the actual wheel itself and faces the, the face of the wheel. I think that's how it works, correct me, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think that's how it works. Anyway, what do you reckon these wheels? I actually love them. Audi Rotor wheels, they're nine inch wide, they've got two five fives on, and I think they're gonna look absolutely amazing on the car, especially when it's lowered as well. And um, yeah, I've had a mad love for these wheels for a very, very long time, as a lot of people will know, especially people around me anyway. But yeah, guys, let's get the Audi in and whip them on. Well, I've realised a few light upgrades, so we've got the LEDs now from the number plate bulbs, and you probably noticed we've got white reversal bulbs as well. I apologise to for that in a video for installation, but I had loads going on, I wanted to get it done, but yeah, it looked pretty cool. Right, so before we start anything, of course, what we're going to do is crack all the wheel nuts. And for those of you that kicked off last time saying, Luke, you didn't use a breaker bar, well guess what? I got one now, so shush. Fuck. Who the fuck done these up? Right lads, I'm telling you now, they were not talk to 140. They were like 440. That was like ridiculously tight. I had to jump on like that one over there. It was stupid. Anyway, don't get me wrong guys. I know a few of you in the comments about Luke. It actually looks nice in these wheels and if it was lowered, it would actually look pretty cool. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I agree, but I don't know why. It's something about the rotors. It's, it's a little soft spot for them somewhere. I really, really like them. So they're gonna look absolutely mental on this. Plus at the minute, it's kind of a bit too blacked out. Yeah, I know it's cool to have everything murdered out, which I probably will because I'm gonna decrame everything anyway. But um, I think they're gonna look sick. I think they're gonna look cool. Okay, so let's get it jacked up. Um, I'm not using my SCS engineering jack because it's currently on the clear over there, so I can't use it, which sucks. So I have to use this thing, and it has a tendency to basically just drop on its own. So I'm gonna move quite swiftly whilst doing this. I mean, hopefully anyway, because I need to figure out if I wanna use the spacers, because these wheels at the minute have got spacers on. So let's get it jacked up, get the wheel off, and hoping to do two at a time, fingers crossed.
Okay, so that's the first one off. Lads, what I recommend, especially when whipping your wheels off, check everything around, check your brake wear sensors, check your drop blinks, check your pads, check your discs, wishbones, whatever you want to do, just do your checks, maybe even give it a clean if you fancy it. But um, I'm going to check now, see if I like it, with just the wheel on as it is, or if I'm going to have to put a space on. So boys, here we go, test fit number one. Now I'm going to have to remember these are 19s as well, so I'm going to sit a little bit lower to the ground for the car as a whole. But I just need to test to see if these, so they fit on perfectly. Now do they stick out enough, or am I going to have to put the spaces on? So, up in the air. Thing is, I need to drop it down. What do you reckon, boys? With it as it is in a minute. I think we're going to need spacers just to be, often being honest. Right, it's all good. I came to the agreement with myself that we're putting the spacers on. It looks better, 10 times better. So, let's get the rest of the wheels on, show you guys what it looks like. Okay lads, so the wheels are on. Um, I've just dropped the car down on the jack, but obviously the suspension's got to settle because we've got to move the car forward. So, I'm going to quickly move the car forward and hopefully you should be able to see it drop a little bit. Yep, which it does. Drop it there because that's what it needs to move and it needs to move forward a little bit. Park it back up, turn it off, get started. Let's see how good these look, boys. I'm not excited for this. But it's amazing. I've put a tire shine on as well, but... Oh yeah. Now that, for me, is a 10 times better look. <laughs> I told you, honestly, I'm telling you now, if you didn't have rotors before, you definitely do now. They do. Look at the state of it. Once that gets lowered, has a full low lower kit around, has the exhaust, holy moly. <whistles> I literally love it. I'm so hot, it's going to look better from this side because the light's on this side. It's going to reflect, reflect right off. Oh, mate. Look at that. That, that is what I call naughty. I'm so happy now I went with putting the spaces on because they look, they're literally perfect. They come actually concave as well. These wheels are absolutely incredible. I love them so much. So, I a quick one. If any of you guys are wondering which tar shine I've used because this stuff's mental and what cleaning products I use, Yum Cars Detailing, guys. Check them out on their website. Uh, LBTV gets you 10% off, so go use that code. But we'll literally use all of their products, all we use for all our, all our cars in the dealership. Mine, every single one, look, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, lads, back on to what am I gonna do with these wheels? I've already racked two of them in storage, so what am I gonna do with these wheels? These wheels are actually genuine Audi Le Mans um, wheels. As you can see where they marked up, so they got the Audi markings there and they've got these Speedline markings there as well. So they're actually made by Speedline, which is pretty mental because that's the same wheels I've actually got my clear at the Speedline make them. So, but honestly, boys, what, can we, what do we think? I wish I could take it out in the, in the daylight and show you guys, but, oh, it's so stealth now. I love it. That look, it's just, oh, that gets me every single time. I love it. I literally love this. When it when it gets lowered, oh, I'm getting so excited already. Like I'm literally just gonna shout so in a minute. I don't know what it is, but these wheels for the money you pay. Well, some of them are going for like a grand. Some of the sets of these wheels are going for like a grand plus. But um, but yeah, but yeah, I'm selling these wheels, lads. So if any of you don't want to buy these, let me know in the comments down below because they are genuine Audi Le Mans wheels. You've seen now. Anyway, boys, there we go. That is the Audi. Now, all done on its new wheels. The Audi Rotors, 19 inch, 9J, and offset of 35, was it 32? I already forgot, that's bad. Um, but yeah, there we go, boys, what do you reckon? I literally can't stop looking at it. I wanna park it up tonight, or I wanna wake up in the morning, I'm gonna see that, I'm like, oh, that's nice. But anyway, lads, enough of that. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, slap the like button, as always, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm starting to get a lisp, am I starting to get a lisp? 
I don't know. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys, and hit that bell button to be notified every single time I upload. And what do you want to see next in the Audi? I, I don't know. Like, I want this. I want a spoiler lip. I want the little spoiler lip, the little nice one. And obviously, we have an exhaust system. Now, for the exhaust system, it's going to be naughty. It's a full custom system being made. And we're getting bad boy Acre Products tips on it. Oh, it's going to be mad. But anyway, for that, for now, check out my social media as well in the description down below. And I'll see you all next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.